Hello, friends, and welcome back to Spark Class. Mr. C here. Today, we are going to finish up, not completely, but wrap up a little bit of our animal adaptations unit. So I'm going to go through all the slides. Now, there's one different thing this time. Um, there's some things that you have to do inside the slides. Okay, you're used to that. You're pretty good at that. You have to move some boxes around. I'll go over that with you. But then when you're all done, you need to go back to Google Classroom because there's another little tab in today's lesson that, and I'll go over this with you, that you need to click on and it's going to give you a little quiz. Okay. And it's kind of an easy quiz because it, it's mostly pictures. So it should be pretty easy for you to, to work with. But I'm, again, I'm going to go over it with you in this, um, actually not in this little video, but at the very end, I put another little video of me going over the quiz. So don't skip over that. Click on that, watch me, and I'll kind of walk you through so that you know what you're doing. We only have a couple classes left, so we want to make the best of this. Okay, so let's start off. Now, um, the best thing to do for this is to click into present mode to start, but then you're going to have to get right back out. But there's a really fun song on this front page here, and it's just a song that gets you going, and it's a fun one, and don't be afraid to get up and dance if you want to. All right. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, and let's see, let's see what happens. This is a fun song. I'm going to click off it because I could just sit and listen to this all day. But we got to get back to. All right, no, I got I got to get to work. All right. Um, I'm so sorry. All right, I'm getting off it. Right now, I'm getting off it. All right. So this is where you're going to hit your escape key. To get out and you're going to see a um, couple different animals here different animals and you're going to see little boxes underneath them now off to this side and off to this side there are little boxes and if you want to get over here you just come down here and you grab this little bar and you just drag it over now i can see them completely and if i want to go back over there come down here and click on that little bar and it'll take you to the other side. So we're doing what we're doing is a lot of what you've done before, where you're taking boxes or you're taking circles and you're moving around. So let's take this one. And remember, if you want to move it, okay, you got to wait till you see the, that little cross with the arrows. And then if you click on it, you can drag it wherever you want. I'm just dragging it here under the poison dart frog just so to show you how it's done. But if you say, oh, wait a minute, this isn't the poison dart frog. Let me fix that. Come back up here to your undo key, click on your undo key, and it'll put it right back. And if you by accident erase or delete something, just go right back up to that undo key and you can fix it and get it right back to where it was. Um, so remember, if you wanna come over to this side, just click down here and you'll be able to move side to side. Click over here, you move to that side. Once you get this, once you see your four squares. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do in this slide is I'm gonna put a little audio track in here and I'm gonna be reading these boxes, okay? And I'll number them so that you know which one I'm reading, all right? Okay, so once you're done that, you can check your work here. Spidey's here to check to see if you did a good job. Now here we're doing the same thing. You're going to click on the circle and you're going to drag it to this bird or this bird. Okay. And this one says, circle the adaptation that you think is best for long flights. So when a bird is up there and he's got a really long way to go, remember birds don't always flap. Sometimes they just soar. So which one do you think is really going to be best for soaring long, long distances? Okay. The next one says circle the adaptation 
that you think is best for climbing trees. All right, so what do you need to climb trees? You need some sharp things here, right? So which one of these has nice, sharp, I don't want to give it away, but nice, sharp, all right, I'll say it, talons to climb a tree because some birds of prey have to climb trees. Oh, this is a good one. Circle the adaptation that you think is best for swimming in the ocean. Hmm. Take a look at these two claws and see which ones you think might be best for swimming in the ocean because there are some birds that swim on top of the ocean to get their food. That's an adaptation. All right, keep, we'll keep going here. Now, this slide is where I'm going to put my second video telling you what to do with the quiz. Okay, so I'm going to skip over this. And this is where this is going to, um, this is where you're going to end this. This is, this tells you to, and I'll put a little narration in here too, in case you forget. This says, return to our Google Classroom and click turn in. What that does is it turns this slideshow into me so I can see what you did with the boxes and the animals, and I can see what you did with the circles, moving the circles. I can see all that, and I can make sure you understand adaptation. But then when you're done, so then when you're done, you're going to go back to Google Classroom, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to go back to Google Classroom, and you're going to click on, let me get out of the way, you're going to click on this one. You see this thing that says Animal Adaptations, Google Forms? Okay. You're going to click on that and watch what happens. It's going to open up this little quiz. Okay. And you're going to put your name here. Then you're going to answer some questions. Okay. And then we've got a couple pictures. Okay. A couple pictures here that will help you. And then when you're all done this, you have to hit this submit key down here. You see how it turns from an arrow to a hand? That means that you'll be submitting it. It's kind of another way of saying turn it in, but um, that's okay. All right, so actually I just, I just realized that I went through all this in the same video. But you're going to get it again because that's how much I like you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the slide presentation. Remember, click on day seven, Google form assignment to complete the quiz. Don't forget to click submit at the bottom of the form. And if you don't, I won't be able to get your quiz grade. So we want to see that. So I'm going to go over this again in the bottom slide. So don't worry about it if you forget. All right. See you tomorrow. Can't wait to see your answers. Hope you're having fun.